Hi, my name is Elias Loven. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com. I'm a dealer in authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. Every item I sell comes complete with a certificate of authenticity. Of course, complete with my signature, I've identified over 28,000 authentic coins and artifacts over the years, and I'm known worldwide as a numismatic antique expert. And of course, you get a lifetime guarantee of authenticity based on my vast knowledge. The co every coin you buy from me comes in a coin flip with a short description of the larger description you find on the certificate. The certificate is complete with a professional description many times citing a major reference or collection. And on the back you have the historical context of the item you have purchased. So even if you're brand new to the collecting field or if you, you don't know anything about coins, visit my site, learn more and you can, to the best of my belief, make a great investment in to something most people just have no idea about. So today I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Claudius II. He's also known as Claudius Gothicus. I have many coins of his in my store. So this is what Claudius II looked like. Claudius II, commonly known as Claudius Gothicus, was Roman Emperor from 268 to 270 AD. Claudius, like Maximinus Thrax before him, was of barbarian birth. After an interlude of failed aristocratic Roman Emperor since Maximinus' death, Claudius was the first in a series of tough soldier emperors who would eventually restore the empire from the crisis of the 3rd century. Claudius had served with the Roman army for all his adult life, making his way up the military hierarchy until the Emperor Gallienus made him the commander of his elite cavalry force. In September 268, he found himself assigned as a military tribune with the Emperor, besieging the usurper Aureolus in Milan. There the troops proclaimed him Emperor, mid-charges never proven that he murdered his predecessor Gallienus. The death of Gallienus is surrounded by conspiracy and betrayal, as most emperor's deaths are. It is possible Claudius gained his position and the respect of the soldiers by being physically strong and especially cruel. A legend tells of Claudius knocking out a horse's teeth with one punch. At the time of his accession, the Roman Empire was in a serious danger from several incursions, both within and outside its borders. The most pressing of these was the invasion of Illyricum and Pannonia by the Goths. He won the Battle of Naissus against them with the greatest victory was one of the greatest history of the Roman arms. While this was going on, the Germanic tribe known as the Alemanni had crossed the Alps and attacked the empire. Claudius responded quickly, routing the Alemanni at the Battle of the Lake Benacus in the late fall of 268. For this he was awarded the title Germanicus Maximus. He then turned on the Gallic Empire, ruled by a pretender for the past 15 years and encompassing Britain, Gaul and the Iberian Peninsula. He won several victories and soon regained control of Spain and the Rhone River uh, Valley of Gaul. This set the stage for the ultimate destruction of the Gallic Empire under Aurelian. Late in 269 he had traveled to Sirmium and was preparing to go to war against the Vandals who were raiding in Pannonia. But he fell victim to the plague of Cyprian, possibly smallpox, and died early in January 270. Before his death he is thought to have named Aurelian as his successor, although Claudius' brother Quintilius briefly seized power. The Senate imme uh, immediately deified Claudius as Divus Claudius Gothicus. So visit my site, trustedcoins.com, to find authentic coins of this emperor and many others. Thank you.